Everyday Crafty Chums, Nikki here, aka Custom to Cat, aka Custom to Cats Live, and I'm back here with you with another pool. I haven't tidied up from my last pool yet, but this pool will go on to another day, so um, well, that's in continuation for me. So I won't bore you too often with a, uh, a pool when everybody else does it so much better. Um, but I was watching, uh, I was watching um, Rio Sares and Sace Sares. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name, Rio and Sace. Uh, but they're hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> if you haven't watched them, go and find them, man. So funny. So funny. And uh, and, and Rio's a really good artist. So, you know, love watching her. Poor. But, um, so, uh... I was watching her and she did something and I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could do that. <laughs> I doubt what I can, but I'm going to give it a go. So, um, so yeah. So what I want on here is a blue-grey background. And that would be from... Did I do it? Yeah. So I've got some Payne's Grey in here. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, white to it. To make it a little bit more grey. We'll see. Because I also need a black. So, so that's a, a grey there. I'm going to quickly mix a black and some more white and then I'll be back. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm not going to pour some more. Some more... Um, Black and I'm not going to find some black and white. I'm going to do it a little slightly different colours. We'll see if it works out. I don't know whether it will, whether it won't, but we'll give it a go because <laughs> it's all about experimenting. It's all about doing it, finding, getting and taking an idea, and and just seeing. So. So I'm going to cover this one. I may go around the edges after in black. I haven't decided just to finish it off. Just get a nice coating because I say it might go around the edges afterwards with um, black when it's dry depending on how good this pour is if not it may just get poured straight off <laughs> but we'll see so no, anyway, I love them I think they're hilarious they've got lots of followers already and that's and that shows you how good they are they haven't been on YouTube long certain something with them. Cult following I think they'll have. A cult following. <laughs> anyway, so there's that little bit. And she poured with a, uh, a uh, plastic bag but um, and I talked about uh, a few weeks ago about using a piping bag um, but I don't have either so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to use a. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I won't use that. <laughs> I'll use a little pole instead, shall I? Use a little pole. A little pole. may not work. In fact I didn't think it will work but hey ho. Because it's too thick probably but never mind. I'm going to give this a little stir. I've no idea. I'm 
and, uh, and then I'm going to pour. Wish me luck. steady hands. It's interesting that they just get some more blobby. Maybe I should have done it with the um, piping bag. <laughs> Not that I have one but maybe I should have done it. We'll pretend. We'll pretend that I have the piping bag. Ready. You see the green may be a little bit too thick. Be an underwater theme, couldn't it? I think you have to go a bit quicker than I am, otherwise, uh, you get a, a bit of a puddle. So I may have to took with that a little bit. I may just leave it like that. <laughs> Actually, I may just leave it like that. I'm not I'm not disliking it, but we'll see. I may just have to fill up my um fill up my gun. Be back. Kind of not disliking it. I've overfilled my air. <laughs> I've may have overfilled it, folks. Well, I'm not disliking it. I'm not too sure I like it, but I don't dislike it. <laughs> She's black and white of course and it came out as beech trees. This could be underwater polyps or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's different, isn't it? So I thought I'd just give that a go. I didn't want to do the black and white because I didn't want to be an absolute copycat. Absolute copycat. <laughs> So I just move this to the side because I'm not disliking it. What you shouldn't do though is put your hand in the one you do like. <laughs> going to do now is just pick up some of this paint for use in my bookmarks let's 
see what's left on here from uh, other than the stuff that's like dried on there like grabbing blobs yeah, I like in these green background ones <laughs> Okay then, nothing to see here really. <laughs> oh, that's better, isn't it? Oh, there are no cells of nothing forming there, so anyway, they'll be good. You can see some of my bookmarks when I've uh, finished them. Right, okay, so thanks for joining me and uh, see you in soon. Bye. <laughs> just uh, cleaning up my uh, microwave plate just a little bit. Just seeing if I can get some nice pieces of uh, paint off there. more than just a little slither, I could say bigger pieces. Looks quite, that looks side looks rubbish but on that side it looks quite nice. See look, I haven't got my glasses on so I don't know if that's in focus because I can't tell because my eyes are out of focus. <laughs> oh. Anyway, cleaning this off, seeing what I get up. Some of it won't be worth keeping, others will. Anyway, there we go. Just so I come on and show you. Just scraping the paint off. <laughs> and the reason why, because you can you can get some nice little bits off it. Cool. Cool pieces. So anyway, see you again soon. Bye.